Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri. Today I wanted to briefly discuss where I see neural networks with the finance industry. So I haven't been diving in too deep, so I have no experience on exactly how these are going to be implemented. Um, I went to a webinar with concerns about how you know neural networks are great for doing AML, so anti-money laundering and fraud detection, but these models are unable to be used to do things such as pricing loans, and this has to do with regulatory concerns. So to price a loan, you have to understand exactly how the model treats different customers and clients, and you need very, very clear transparency to be able to meet these regulations. So that being said, when it comes down to like other types of models, like servicing models, market risk models, operational risk models, people keep telling me like, oh, you know, all these cart models, like random forest, for example, is amazing, it's great, gradient boosting, or if we're gonna do all this great stuff, and everyone's like diving towards it. And as soon as I mention like, oh, have you guys tried neural networks, it seems there's like this negative connotation for some reason that neural networks can only do image recognition. I don't think this is true. Um, I have faith in neural networks here. I'm kind of going out in a branch and hoping this works. But the way I actually view this is probably a lot different than everyone else is viewing this. So I'm not going out and applying like a toolbox to the problem and hoping like something good comes out at the end. Um, I've spent the time going through the math. I've looked at a lot of papers. I've seen how people are implementing these. I'm trying to like, basically fine tune this to work in a finance setting. And the way I view this is similar to image recognition. So if you think about, let's say a, you know, a three by three matrix. So there's like three squares across the top and then it's three squares down. Um, so essentially you have nine total squares and each one of these squares has some numerical value. So when you do image recognition, each one has a value that corresponds to essentially the color or like the tone. So if you had a grayscale image, you would have, you know, let's say from zero to one maybe, uh, zero being white, one being black, and then anything in the middle would be a gray. And so image recognition would go through and take these images. So you'd have nine input neurons in this one layer, which would represent each one of the colors. It would process it through. And then at the end of the day, you'd have some value such as like, you know, cat, dog, horse, pig. Like it's trying to figure out, you know, what is this image of? What type of animal is it? And then you go through the typical neural network training. So for finance, I think think this is going to work in a similar fashion. I feel like for credit risk, for example, if you were able to use this for pricing, but we're not able to, so let's just say we're gonna use this for servicing or for something very different and unique, uh, even for something such as operational risk, um, I think there's going to be essentially like a unique thumbprint or like a fingerprint for each person. So if you think about like probability of default, um, this is used to model a lot of different types of credit models. Um, and let's say like every person has this unique kind of like a fingerprint or like this image here that we're seeking. And so the way I picture this is that the neural networks will pick up like these types of pictures result in, you know, high probability of default. These types of pictures, they represent, you know, good quality customers that will not default. So I think neural networks are gonna be amazing. I think they're gonna do a great job, um, just like a logistic model in the way that we're going to use these as like an image recognition for a unique fingerprint. But anyways, that's kind of my current trajectory on what I think neural networks is going to do for finance. That's how I think it's going to work. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how it's going to work, but I'm gonna test a lot of data. Um, I'm using Club Lending or Lending Tree, whatever. It's an online data source of free credit data. Uh, I'm going to start playing with that as well. So it's public data. And then if I make any like progress on that, you know, I can definitely share it with you guys as it's not proprietary data. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like this channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button for notifications. And as always, until next time.